Good morning, Jeffrey. How you doing? Are you hiding from me? <laughs> okay. Well, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, a special people in that God uses called prophets. Have you ever heard of somebody being called a prophet before? You've heard of somebody. You've heard of that. Like, have you ever heard, heard somebody being called a prophet? What? They call you a prophet? Yeah! <laughs> I'll, I'll believe that. <laughs> well, so what do prophets do? And, and I'm talking about this because we're going we're, we're gonna to read some more today about John the Baptist. And, and he was a prophet. And his job was to speak for God to tell people to get ready because Jesus was coming. Okay? So that was an important message. And that's what prophets do, is they send messages from God to people. Now, what sort of messages do prophets tell people? Well, I was sort of thinking how you might want to think about this. Do your parents ever tell you, if you don't do this, like clean up your room, or, or go to bed now, or whatever, this will happen to you. You'll get, you'll get in trouble, right? Do they ever say that kind of thing to you? Yeah. Or maybe teachers. If you don't get your work done in time, you're going to be in trouble, right? Or if you don't study, well, this will be for when you get a little older, right? But if you don't study for this test, you're going to get a bad grade, right? They warn us, don't they? Parents and teachers and maybe sometimes policemen and other people in our lives, they warn us, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to be in trouble, right? And I don't know about you, but when I was growing up and sometimes my teacher would tell me those things, I would keep doing them and I would get in trouble, just like they said I would. But I was never surprised when I got troubled because they told me ahead of time, if you keep misbehaving, you're going to be in trouble. Well, prophets sort of give that same message a lot of times. They bring a message from God to people, to whole nations sometimes, to the world as a whole sometimes. And they say, if you keep doing what I've told you not to do, you're going to get in trouble. A lot of the time, that's what a prophet is doing. They're saying to people a message from God that's just like the message we sometimes get from our parents or from our teachers or from policemen. If you keep going the way you're going, if you keep doing these bad things you're doing, something terrible will happen to you. Now, the other side of that is, if you stop doing those bad things, and if you do what are the right things, you won't get in trouble. These bad things aren't going to happen. So the prophets come to speak for God, and many times their message is, please stop doing those things that you know you shouldn't do. Please stop being mean to people. Please stop taking advantage of people or lying to them. If you keep doing that, bad things are going to happen. But if you stop, things will be all right. So we already kind of have prophets in our lives. What, don't we kind of like our parents can be sort of like prophets or our teachers or other people? But we want to keep our eyes out for who are some other prophets in the world. And I'm thinking particularly because it's uh, the weekend of we, where we celebrate his birthday. I'm thinking of a person that I think of as a prophet. His name was Martin Luther King. Have you ever heard of him? You've heard of him. He's a wonderful man that, that helped a lot of people. And one of the things that he would do, what he, he would say to the people of this country, the, especially the white folks, 
if you keep treating our black brothers and sisters badly, if you treat, keep treating them in a way you shouldn't, bad things are going to happen. You need to start treating people, all people, the same, whether they're black or white or whatever they might be. He's brought a message from God saying, you need to change. And if you don't, bad things will happen. And you know what happened? Some things started to change a little bit. God used Martin Luther King. Some things started to change. They didn't change as much as they needed to. But some good things started to happen. And black people started being able to have rights that they didn't have before. That said you could live where you want to live and you can do the things you want to do and, and you should be able to go to a good school and all of that sort of thing. We have a long way to go before we fully listen to the message from this prophet, Martin Luther King. But he was, I believe, a modern day prophet sent by God. Well, so keep your eyes open for the prophets, okay? Because God still sends prophets to us. Well, let's pray together, okay? Lord, we thank you for the people who are prophets in our lives. For the folks who warn us when we are doing things we shouldn't do and letting us know that if we keep doing them, it will be getting into trouble. We thank you for all the prophets you have sent all through time, especially for John the Baptist and for Jesus. And this weekend particularly, we remember your prophet, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. We thank you that you will care enough about us and about the world that you send people to speak your word and warn people and give them instructions as far as how they should live. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, you guys can go. I don't know if we're going to have Sunday school.